So this book is called A Savannah Habitat, and it's a Bobby Kalman book. What a cute little face. All right, so there's a lot of information in this book, A Savannah Habitat. And what's neat is it has a table of contents. So these are the books that Mrs. Garrapi usually picks and chooses which pages to read to you because there's just so much information. So I want to learn about Savannah plants. So there it says Savannah plants, page 12. And then it goes on, plants make food, page 14. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn to page 12. Oh, there's 11. There's 12. All right. Savannah plants. Huge parts of savannas are covered with grasses. Some shrubs grow in some places. The shrubs, those are like small bushes. The shrubs grow close to the ground. They do not grow close together. There's not enough water in savannas for a lot of shrubs in one place. So you might see one little bush here, and then there's a lot of space, and then another bush here, they call it a shrub, and another space, and another bush here, and another bush here, but they don't grow all together in a row because they don't have enough water coming up from the ground. Water savers. I love these trees. Most kinds of trees cannot grow in savannas because savannas are too dry. Bobab trees grow in savannas. When it rains, bobab trees store water in their trunks. They use up the water during the months when it does not rain. Very cool. I'm going to explain that more in a video. Ooh, I like this tree too. This reminds me of the Lion King. Has any, any, any of my students or any of their parents ever seen the original Lion King? That came out when I was young. Plants make food. Living things need food to stay alive. We know that. Plants make their own food. They make food using sunlight, air, and water. Making food from sunlight, air, and water is called photosynthesis. That's a big word. Everyone say photosynthesis. This acacia tree makes its own food. Very cool. And these are the parts of a plant for making food. So a plant gets the sunlight right through its leaves, and the plant gets water right through its roots. And the plant uses the sunlight, the water, and the air that gets taken in through the leaves too, and that makes food. Pretty cool.